A month away from the first day of school where thousands of students, many too young to be vaccinated, will gather in class. Teach for 11's Ashley Godwin joins us with how parents are feeling tonight. Ashley. The American Academy of Pediatrics reinforced its recommendations today, saying all students should wear masks when heading back to the classroom. But since Arkansas schools can't require them, it's making the return to school a tough decision. I have a daughter, she's nine years old, she's too young to be vaccinated, um, but because I work and this year my husband also has a job, I don't have any other options but to send her to school. Does that include precautions like masks or no? Uh, absolutely. We have masks this entire time. We will definitely be wearing masks. My son is old enough to be vaccinated and he is vaccinated and so that's a little bit of a layer, but I still worry about spread. The CDC and now the American Academy of Pediatrics is recommending that students wear masks when going back to school this year. But because of a law passed by the state legislature, neither the governor nor local mayors can issue mask mandates, leading some parents to change their minds about in-person learning. That was the idea when numbers were going down, and now as we get closer and these numbers increase, we are really trying to look at other options if we can find them. For us, we are going to strongly encourage masks. Little Rock School District Superintendent Michael Poor says the district is making sure virtual learning is an option for students not ready for the classroom. Our virtual numbers have more than about doubled in the last month. We're a little over 500 families that have their children saying they want to be in the virtual program. Now, while RSD parents have up until the first day of school to enroll their children in virtual learning, the district will also have vaccine clinics for staff, students, and parents in August.